special vlog here on hootiehoo.com. I have the amazing Jen Luby from Second City Soiree, and she has come up to my home to help with an idea that I sort of had about having a party for my great girlfriends. Sort of a grateful that you're my girlfriend party. So Jen is here to share some of her great ideas on how to do a very quick, simple and easy party for the girls in your tribe. Okay, so for this afternoon tea party, we are going to talk about the dish, the drink, and the decor. And Meredith has made these super cute invitations. Tell us about them. Okay, so, you know, one of my favorite places is Michael's for just fun, quick mm -hmm. things. So I found these great glitter leaves from Michael's. And since we're having a tea party, I just popped a hole in it uh, with the hole punch, and I strung a really yummy tea bag, one of my favorite teas, Talbot teas through it. And then I just wrote the details of the invitation on the back of the leaf because it's not glittery back here. I am just going to pop these into everyone's mailbox for the invitation. That's very cute. Usually with, with a tea, if you go to afternoon tea at a nice hotel, you get scones and clotted cream and, and things like that. Um, so what we have, instead of a scone, we have little triangles of cinnamon bread. And um, it's, it's just cinnamon bread. I cut off the crust. I, di I cut them diagonally because no crust and diagonal equals fancy. <laughs> this is a sign that it's a fancy affair. Yeah, so when it's out, cut off the crust, make it diagonal, and you're all good. Um, and then another thing that you commonly see are strawberries with cream. And so instead of that, again, because it's fall, we have dates with a little bit of, you can use um, mascarpone cheese or whipped cream cheese with a little bit of cinnamon in it. And um, we've got uh, just dried dates. And the sweetness of the dates bounces really well with the tanginess. Mm -hmm. I just tried these. I, I didn't think I was a date person. They're so yummy. She's the chewy person, date mm -hmm. and the fluffy cream cheese and cinnamon. This would actually be a great thing for like a Thanksgiving appetizer. Oh, totally. totally. I think I'm going to totally. do that as well. Yeah. So then we also have um, egg salad and chicken salad. And the pieces in here are pretty thick. So I usually run these through a food processor and get them just really, really fine. Mm -hmm. Um, because otherwise when you go to cut your sandwiches in their fancy shape um, with no crust, no crust and diagonal, um, <laughs> if there's big pieces of chicken, they're just not going to cut very well. So run it through the food processor and get it really fine. So obviously you cannot have a tea party without tea. tea. <laughs> so I made it very simple. So I have a, a collection of random teapots. So that you have different choices of teas for your guests. You know, boil the water, pop the tea bags in just before they're coming, pour the hot water in there and let them steep. And then what I've done is I've attached a little um, copper gilded uh, leaf with the name uh, that I printed out on the computer of the so kind of tea that, that, that's in that teapot. So very, very simple. You can do it last minute right before they're coming. If you want to get really, really persnickety, technically they're supposed to have different temperatures of water, but I won't tell if you don't. I'm not doing that. <laughs> we'll leave that to the party expert to do that. Um, <laughs> Even the party expert doesn't do that. <laughs> um, and then, like, the last thing that we've come up with that we thought would be fun is to have little leaves on these branches. Jen got these great curly branches. And again, I've been using my, my glittery, glittery leaves, and I've attached onto each leaf just a fun little question or conversation starter for you and your girlfriend. So Jen, why don't you read one? What's the craziest thing you ever did with your girlfriends? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Or this one says, who are you in your girlfriend tribe? Sort of like, are you oh. the clown? Are you the confidant? Are you the caretaker? Who are you? Who are you? Uh, I think I'm the comic relief and I think I am a caretaker yeah. too. <laughs> I, I tend to be comic relief as well. If there's a tense moment, I'll come up with a joke. Yeah, that's good, that's good. <laughs> this sounds like a great party. Well, I'm actually planning on having this party. You know, I, I usually have a big Halloween blowout party. Mm -hmm. All black and very, you know, fun for all a big batch of girlfriends. But this year, I think I'm going to go a little bit more intimate. And uh, I'm going to make all this stuff. So yeah. thank you so much oh, for your help welcome. and your inspiration. And I never really understood how to do tea sandwiches. They were always a bit intimidating to me, but now I know diagonal and no crust exactly. equals fancy. Exactly. So anyway, everybody go out, find your group of girlfriends, and have them over on a random Tuesday for a little ungrateful You're My Girlfriend party. Bye.